You were not then, quiet at all. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we're gonna be quiet for a second, and then you do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's like. Be <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> it only needs one or okay, two seconds. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you did that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks for coming on. <laughs> uh, Wyatt, this is Wyatt Dykes, uh, probably the funniest guy I have ever met in my life. Uh, so even just laughing like that makes me want to giggle. <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, coming on. What do you what oh, yeah, been up to? Me, you remember whenever we were in the shop at my dad's house, and you threw that uh, <laughs> what was it? Automatic transmission fluid in the in the trash can, and it. <laughs> well, I was cleaning out that that pan with brake cleaner or something, and then you lit it on fire. <laughs> Ceiling yeah, yeah. There was like a an the attic and was on fire. <laughs> Did you get your, your thumb up? There, okay, I, I feel like we're doing a bad, yeah, bad yeah, story yeah. time. Yeah, there is a there. blue <laughs> fifty-five gallon Drunk. trash. Oh, yeah, trash. just an empty trash barrel full of trash, and somehow it caught on fire and it blew the the ceiling tile out of the ceiling. And Wyatt over here. I started kind of being a dick. Like, I remember somebody told me not to do it. And I was like, I'm going to light it. And I threw it down in there. Remember, we were like, oh shit. So we dumped that flame and fluid oh. <laughs> in the trash can. And then it ignited the rest of the camera. Yeah. On fire. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, there was like a little. There was like a little flame or something already going. And then you doused it with that. Doused it with that stuff. It all breaks in there. In that drawer there. Yeah. Right on the, on the stove. Are you needing us to restart or just keep going? No. Um, yeah, and then Wyatt, you grab that barrel and like walked it out, and it's on fire. <laughs> and he, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's probably good. that's gonna be pretty close to your face. Oh, does it? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds real good when you're like right here. With yeah. You. Right here, real close to it. Yep. ASMR. Just literally. You know? Yep. <laughs> Those people, no, they're like. like I was, yeah. I was actually with their hands. I was actually thinking about it the other day, because uh, we were talking about doing this. Um, mm-hmm. Whenever I caught your hair on fire, it's like I don't know if it was. Oh before. yeah, I forgot about that too. Before your guys' homecoming or something. You caught his hair on fire? I don't remember that. Yeah, we were working Might on this truck. I don't know. In Cordell, so many shop. times. <laughs> um, he he pulled up a video the other day that I completely forgot about of. The or potato that, cannon? That, yeah, the, that. <laughs> on the tank. Yeah, and you, you posted the video on TikTok, and I was like, that's me. <laughs> All yeah. in I, was like, I didn't even notice it. That thing sounds I don't awesome. The video. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's like, Psh! it sounds like something out of Star Wars or something. Yeah. We used to shoot that thing with his brother Layton out in the pasture. <laughs> you know, because we put limes in it. Yeah, he said they were like frozen, frozen right? Yeah. yeah. Mm, yikes. And they would zoom out there. And I remember that first one we sent it. I, I don't know what he was out there doing, chopping thistles or something. And we maybe went like ten feet by him, and uh, he said it was he said it was crazy sound he ever heard. He just took off sprinting, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like zigzagging across the field. Yeah, it was only good for one shot, so he had to air it up. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing was awesome. Been getting anything else like that uh, lately? Potato cans or anything just like that? Cr- crazy shit that uh, might know. hurt somebody, <laughs> or did hurt anybody. <laughs> when was the first time we met you? Was it with Cordell or was it before? I feel I like remember. it was before Cordell. No, it was at Kayla's, Kayla Haggard's bonfire or something like that. Yeah. I could have swore I remember meeting you. I got this memory in Taco Bell when Cody Garrett was dating somebody else that you were friends with and you were there too. Well, you went to prom with Cody Garrett or something like that, didn't you? If it's personal, I can't go say it on here, but. Oh, no, yeah, I did. <laughs> I think that's the first time. Like, you were hanging out around. You've been to eight proms? So, like, <laughs> what? Been, yeah, I went to one. Well, I went to a bunch when I was a sophomore. A bunch? Just different schools? Yeah. Oh. As long as... You, <laughs> yeah. Okay, as long as you didn't start out as a as a sophomore and then yeah. you went uh, junior, senior, three years out of high school, five years yeah. out of high school. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I was 25 at prom. <laughs> yeah, there's a cutoff for that shit. <laughs> yeah, how old are you now? Okay. Yeah, how... I wish we'd have done like a a, a poll or something. <laughs> yeah. We can. He's been that. buying beers since he's twelve, and we're gonna have a poll pulled out. Be like, how old do you think he is? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can always just bleep that out, can't you? Like whatever. Oh yeah, that's age, true. Yeah. yeah. How old do you guys think he is? We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh, reveal at the end of the episode. Me and Matt are both older than. Wait, you're. Yeah. 
Wow, no, we're the same as <laughs> same as <laughs> Matt told it's her. It's a lot of work to edit those out. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't miss one. Yeah. That's what this is for. Yeah. I had the timer going. <laughs> and so then, you know when it was. Yeah, and I'm Oh, I didn't even time. I still didn't catch it. I was like, what are you talking about? And then I got <laughs> Yeah. Now Ooh. I need to set this yeah. so it doesn't go. Leave your guests in the comment section. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> we don't have that many views yet. We, yeah, uh, we did go from you. I forgot about that. Yeah, um, you two? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's leading? Uh, I bet imagine it's you. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, I, I like picked him up and was swirling him all around all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I can t- see t- that. T- 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how you get him. Hey, Cody has on multiple occasions asked me to teach him how to dance because he needs to know how to dance for girls. <laughs> that would be a nice thing to know. I remember that? No, I, I said I'm pretty sure I showed you how to dance in the hotel in Florida. I forgot you went with him to Florida. I f- yep, Panama City Spring. That place was crazy. You and De- you two and Decker, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no. Club La Vila is still torn up from the. Earth. I thought it closed like permanently. Yeah. Like, like fucked up good. There was that place guy, was insane though. There's a guy I know. Who, the, it was the biggest nightclub in the United States. Yeah, and it was like whatever number you know in, in the world because I mean hell it had like eight or nine clubs in it. It was huge. Remember, like, mm. we lost each other. It was awesome. There was whole bars the size of Midnight Rodeo in the basement of that. And they were all, like, just different rooms. Yeah. Like, lunge bars and rock and roll bars and all kinds of shit. Yeah. yeah, you guys talked it up really big, and then we went uh, a while ago, and I was like, I'm ready, and it was closed. Destroyed. Yeah. Isn't it, like, fully closed down? I saw I think yeah. There's so. a guy that I know who's from there, and he posted, like, a week ago just a thing that was, like, I remember this or something. It was just a picture of that club. It was uh, it looks vacant right now, yeah, because we went last March, and... Uh, it was just raining his dick off, and it was closed. Is it even, like, busy down there now that that club's closed? It is, but not, like, spring break's not, like, you know. Down like how it was? There. Yeah, it's not. March isn't, like, it's all just rainy. You know what I mean? There's yeah. There's not anybody out on the beaches and stuff. It's just, it's kind of miserable. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's easy to do. It's easy to do, but whenever you like re-listen yeah, to it, you're like, to it and you can't fix it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you literally get this. Is like it sounds really good if you're like this close yeah, to it. So yeah. yeah, with our first episode that we did, we just did like the sound off of my phone from like 12 feet away, and it's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we got these, and they're a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Good. This, yeah. This, no, I was like, I bet these these things are badass. Yeah, and they were pretty cheap, honestly. They have way more expensive. I think they sound good. I've had like so. three people be like, "Man, you're really spending money on a studio and stuff." It's like, what? I mean, I guess I bought the house, but it's the, <laughs> it's the, yeah, the microphone. These are like sixty or seventy bucks a piece. The, the lights, lights like were the same, eighty bucks. Right? Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. I just use no, their phone. phone. I already had the tripod. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's easy. No, yeah, it is a perfect. It's an ideal setup for sure. I mean, ideally, we'd have more cameras and, like, people hire somebody who knows how to do this better than we do, mm. like, editing. And stuff. <laughs> well, I'd love for us to be on both sides of the table, mm-hmm. but that side doesn't have a... And the multiple camera setup thing would be nice mm-hmm. to be able to switch back between cameras. Yeah, I was going to say that, being yeah. able to go back and forth. Which we could do, technically, but I, it would just take a lot of editing. Yeah. <laughs> it already... The, we're doing something. He's doing something wrong. I... Not that, yeah. not that it's, yeah. no, yeah, I am trying on. to give you credit. <laughs> up, yeah. I'm not doing any of the editing stuff. Matt's doing it, but it's like, it's, it's like taking hours to upload stuff. Well, it's just cause I was, I've been reading into it. If you have like better this, if we, you have a better computer, like I, a lot of times people use like gaming computers and stuff cause they process things way faster than what any of this does. Like I uploaded a 30 or a 40 minute video today that took two hours, you, you know? <laughs> What? You want to build a PC? No, not really. <laughs> because I don't have the money got, for it. I got a ship right now to build you one for like like nine fifty. Oh, that's cheaper than I saw them. They're like twenty five hundred bucks. You can buy like a computer. This one's. Yeah, I was. Just Is that what you do? You do any like gaming on yeah, computers? Like Counter Strike. That's all I was gonna use it for. I've never really been into that, uh, but I know it's like a huge industry now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of well, well gaming and then gaming computers and like kind of streaming really... video games and stuff. That's like a industry yeah. that's just kind of blown up. Sorry. <laughs> it's it's so yeah, easy to pre- micromanage. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I mean, I, I game a little bit. Yeah, for sure. PC gaming is definitely superb, but you should definitely look into getting you a good computer that can run that stuff. Yeah. So for, we, I tried it with. I would. I was thinking that that computer would work better. It's his, and now this computer still loads things way faster than that computer does. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but well, I, this well, is that's a, a that is a cheap computer. Well, I mean, this is like the Pro Six, and they're on like the nine now. Yeah, yeah. That I was bought, like a five hundred dollar computer from like Walmart. Fifty from Facebook Marketplace in Rogersville. Like? Five hundred brand new from Walmart. 
But it worked for what we needed. Yeah, it, it works great for yeah if you're not doing anything crazy. Yeah. 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 I bought this because I was doing like door to door sales, and I needed in my wanted one in my car to like work with spreadsheets and stuff like that. So it works pretty good for that because it's small. Yeah, I was saying the way that it detaches and stuff. Yeah, that'd be handy as hell. Yeah, you're the first. Uh, this is the first time though I've ever had to have anybody sign stuff on it. <laughs> oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it works. Yeah, yeah. So you've been uh, tell us about what you do for a living. Butchering. Yeah. Or I'm. Yeah, I don't know what I'd be classified as. I'm just a killer. But <laughs> work for, yeah, what was that? <laughs> yeah, it sounds terrible. Oh, I thought you were gassing yourself. I'm you're like, a, I'm just a killer. Just a killer. <laughs> no, that's really all it is. Um, like as far as what my job entails. Um, but we're not a very big plant, but we just got done with an add-on that's going to definitely, you know, increase our speeds and, and hopefully get a couple more employees in there, which, uh, there's only like five of us, but we, uh, we're out there at Wheelerville. I don't know if you know where that's at. So, I mean, it's not far from Crane, you know, like 10 miles, but, um, like towards the lake or what, what direction? 248. Hmm. Didn't help me at all. <laughs> leave Crane and head out towards, um, like you go Keep, to Gasville, I guess. If you're leaving gotcha. Crane, you go to Gasville, you know, like that. Uh, okay. West to Crane? Probably. South. <laughs> Same. <laughs> South. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say <laughs> Probably. You start saying, like, oh, H248 no. South. Uh, I don't know. I hate when old that. people try to give you directions. Yeah, I'm losing me with that. I won't. You're so There's easy. a hickory tree out here. <laughs> And you yeah, turn left at the, cr- the tree, and yeah, it's, it's never left. Earlier. It's east or something like that. And you're like, man, I don't yeah, know this. He's, Google he's maps down this county road to see a beehive and yeah, <laughs> another. Yeah, don't pass that. If you see old old the old lady Gretchen outside, you've gone too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to haul stuff for the Amish, and th- getting directions from those guys was. Oh, I bet that's you like got one. Too. You got <laughs> you got one piece of communication, and it was from somebody that could have a phone yeah so you'd have an amish guy that's gonna be somewhere at 3 30 p.m and he tells a mennonite guy and that guy can call you and tell you where he's supposed to be and it's it's yeah we've hauled a bunch of furniture and stuff for him and um, hauled some around like to wisconsin and stuff and yeah yeah. It's fun being a yoder toter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're awesome people but just the communications so hard Oh yeah, and it's awesome. It's awesome uh, listening to him speak Dutch too. You trying to see mm-hmm. that writing? Maybe this this is also for uh, for clips. <laughs> yeah, he'll cut it up uh, and oh, it's yeah. a twelve thirty yoder toter. <laughs> <laughs> that might make a TikTok clip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's good. Otherwise, I have to watch like a two hour video to find <laughs> everything <laughs> that's in it. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's no, way that's, that's definitely way. handy. Except I didn't think about it, and I started this after this was already recording, so I don't actually know what the time is going to be. <laughs> There's just so much stuff to like three minutes off. Maybe something like that. We'll find out. Mm-hmm. There's just so much stuff you could have, like just in the right spot. Yeah, and do it all at the same time. It's not that hard. No, it's not that hard. But in fact, I had two TikToks. I posted well, obviously, it is that hard. We didn't get it right. <laughs> I don't have TikTok. You don't? No, I deleted don't. it for a while. Oh shit. It's not even working, is it? No, it's working. It's just going to vibrate a lot. Uh, fix it? Yeah. See, these things have to be stretched all the way around it, and that's like a vibration dampener. It still looks like it's not completely tight or something. Well, maybe. But yeah, that's right. Hmm. No clue. Don't worry about it. That probably sounded horrendous in the microphone, though, when I was <laughs> messing yeah, with it. Hard to say without knowing. Oh, yeah, whenever you stretch <laughs> yeah. 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 That was awful. No warning either for the people with headphones on. They just... <laughs> <laughs> and you did it again. <laughs> well, did you... That video that I sent you of me pointing my guy at that squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. sent that... Oh, there was just a squirrel in my yard and uh, I just I had a pistol that was unloaded and I just pointed it at it like aimed down, you know, like through my phone and I just clicked and I said, that had been a dead squirrel. <laughs> I sent it to him and a couple other people and one of my buddies said they had their headphones on and they said, right as they seen the gun, they are like, they just broke their headphones off. <laughs> like, that was about to wreck me. <laughs> so, yeah, I bet that would have been awful audio if it would have, you know, been a gunshot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pierced your ears. Yeah, listen to the music and then boom. <laughs> I haven't shot my gun in a long time. Why? What kind of gun do you have? My little nine millimeter Ruger. It just sits in my car. Kendall keeps talking about opening up a uh, a gun store. Is it a dying industry? <laughs> I 
I don't know. Tell him that. <laughs> nah, I mean, I don't know much about the industry. I don't know really. how much of a money maker it would be for him, but I could see it as being something he could do. It's more fun. Yeah. Than, yeah guns mm-hmm. just he just wants the licenses to be able to buy whatever he <laughs> yeah, wants. Buy some <laughs> machine guns and stuff. Actually, if he had his way, the licenses would go away. He's he's the close, the biggest libertarian person I ever met. Yeah. <laughs> That's good shit, though. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need to get into all that on this <laughs> no, politics. No. Yeah, I voted Libertarian actually last last uh, last election. That's what I classified myself as. Yeah. So tell tell everybody about how you take care of your hair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got to show it off. They can't uh, really tell. Oh, they can't see what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a man right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, mane and tail. That's a uh, mane and horse shampoo. I think I had this at that uh, horse shampoo. Horse shampoo. <laughs> yeah, that's what shampoo. I'm trying to say. Shampoo. Yeah. Shampoo. Shampoo. <laughs> yes. That's what they call horse it now. Doesn't just regular shit from Walmart not work? No. And it leaves you feeling bad, you know. Like you know, it just it makes your hair, hair feel bad, dries it out. The the main and tail is mainly just like for growth. Is it expensive? One time, no, because you can buy it like in a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you got a five yeah. gallon bucket in your shower yeah, with, with a, a, with a, a ladle. ladle, a ladle, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pump on it, yeah. <laughs> horses, yeah, you can't, yeah, you buy abundance. Yeah, you get the whole oil pump <laughs> deal in there. <laughs> I, uh, I one time, I, I tried to like. <laughs> <laughs> you just get those it, videos are on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Like those kids that cover themselves with Vaseline, you know? Yeah, just cover yourself. In shampoo. Yeah. yeah. You ever see that one where there's this kid? He's like a toddler, and he's sitting on the counter, and he's just covered himself in peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> His mom walks in, he's just like he rubbing makes, all over himself. He makes some kind of weird noise. Yeah, yeah. Goes like, uh. She goes, "Does that feel good?" And he goes, "Ah." Yeah. <laughs> His dog's so excited. The dog's just like, "Oh, jump off that fucking counter!" Yeah. <laughs> like that was. That was a crazy amount of peanut butter. It was like painted. Yeah, it was a big tub. Every piece, Eye, face, head. <laughs> every part of his skin he could see. <laughs> he covered it. Yeah. Yeah. Kids are amazing. Only for that. They just do dumb shit. Yeah. Oh, it was a kid? <laughs> yeah, like a two-year-old man. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking some weird teenager or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that much man. No, but... <laughs> like, yeah. Like, bean videos and mayonnaise and stuff. They're just ranch. trying to eat. <laughs> the ranch is nasty when people dip like whole pieces. Oh, I hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see people do it with ketchup. They'll, they'll like have a chicken nugget and then they just dip their whole hand <laughs> in the ketchup or something. <laughs> Like the handshakes where they're covered in barbecue sauce. That's gross. Like that's just, yeah, that's just trying to get it, views. You know? Be right. Yeah. You know, I don't even like ketchup that much. Well, that's just, <laughs> it is kind of funny. And here we are talking about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna have to open up a new segment: gross condiments all over our bodies. There's gonna be somebody on here that ain't seen that. Now they're gonna YouTube it. <laughs> we just got. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I hope so. We we I think we haven't gotten more than like 200 views on a YouTube video yet. So, but on TikTok we did just hit. 15,000 on a video. Yeah, that's so, pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was it. All, all of the other ones are like 200, 300. There's a few thousand ones, but that one, yeah, it, it, it hit. I think it's right at 15,000. Takes some think time stuff like and this really matters, like, you know, for the most part with views and stuff, especially like starting up, you know, because I feel like once one does hit and stuff, you know, yeah. people are going to go back and watch all the old shit anyway. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. Who'd you say? What, like, big YouTuber was saying that exactly is what happened? Yeah, Gary Vee says post five times a day, and then eventually... No, you were saying somebody that, like, think about all your first videos as they're going to have 50 million oh. views later on, or you know, because yeah. one of your notes was talking about that. I th- maybe it was Whistling Diesel or something like that. No. Well, some people... I think I just some said people that. people put a lot of effort into their videos and making, you know, quality content, even if it does drive them broke at the start, because people are going to see it later on, you know, if they keep up with it. Yeah. Well, see, if you have a ton of content out there, and then you do, you have one video hit or something, you get a bunch of followers, then all of those other videos in the past, they then hit, yeah, because you have all those people. But then you're going to pick out people that like something specific and then you're gonna have those people comment and like do more of this shit you know yep like yeah. that's what happens like those abandoned um building videos you know like where people go through like old abandoned mills and all that kind of stuff people just like seeing weird shit it's mm-hmm. crazy how much that's that's the whole idea of why we're doing this is there are so many people out there somebody likes everything yeah every mm-hmm. just your day-to-day life somebody would love to watch every single mm-hmm. day and they'd probably pay you for it <laughs> there's there's people out there who, who like everything yeah. Yeah, the opportunity with oh. having a huge audience that knows who you are and what you do is yeah, so scalable. <laughs> <We're gonna make laughs> yeah. You can make so much money with it. Yeah. It's, We're going to open a <laughs> villa in about a year after we make buku bucks with this. 
a private if we one. Opened it, <laughs> if we opened it, sure, like 10 miles in. Inland from where it's at right now? Fuck yeah. I meant we'll open it right here in Billings, Missouri. All cool. the corn fed ladies coming over here. <laughs> it would be cool to have a nice, like, like a bigger bar around here that wasn't like a club, you know, like not like, you know, like not like a greasy, <laughs> you know, place. We, me and Cody went to one of the clubs downtown one time and ever since then he wouldn't stop shutting up on how sticky the floor uh. was. One of the it was a club with carpet. Yeah, it was. Oh no, <laughs> like, dude! Drink spilled all over it, and you're like, dude, you would. St- Here's a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> like it would not. It it was, it was so like bad. Those, uh, yeah, it'd stick right to your feet. Downtown for sure. Mythbusters did one of those. You know those like rat traps where the rats get stuck on the mats. They did like a, a human size one of it, and like you get really stuck on it like your skin is like stuck to it you can't pull off of it if you fell down if you fell down on that in that floor in that bar they would have to get a helicopter to come get you <laughs> off of it or something yeah. <laughs> it's so nasty they need it that. was a cool bar there, though there's but one that's like that it's got a hallway in the back and it's like a waffle house floor you know it's like a weird mm, textured tile nice. it's like when you walk you hear it it's tacky mm. yeah. that's so gross would you ever open your own bar oh i'd love to where'd you do it Describe your dream. What's it look like? What's your vision? You ever seen the movie? Um, mm, the opening bar from Roadhouse. It's been a long time like since I've seen that movie. Of it, if you rewatch it, it's huge. It's just, but the way that it's open, uh, you know, you because you they have like a big studio apartment off to one side of it, mm-hmm. and so it's basically it's just a big shop building, basically. But there's a nice, you know, circular round bar, and then um, a stair set up to like that studio apartment. And so that's like where the Boss man, you know, chills out. Yeah. And you can like see everything, and there's a stage and dance floor and seating, and there was like. I think I remember that tables. now. Yeah, I'd like it without the chain link because originally, you know, the bar had chain link because people would throw bottles and shit. <laughs> <up to the laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want a greasy, nasty place. It'd be a good bar. You kick those know? people out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They can bounce out. I, I wonder how hard it is to like force if you owned a place like that to force the environment to be the way you want it to be. You know, mm. I wonder how how hard that is controlling people like that yeah i'm sure that's the thing that's where you got to really like be specific about your clientele you know for the most part like you know um because you can't you know not like say like well you can't come in you can come in you know like just pick everybody at the door unless you you know definitely like you know whenever you first open and you're doing stuff there's definitely ways that you can sort out and be like you know this shit's not allowed you know don't come back with that shit and sometimes, you know, that's just, you know, you can do it that way. But it is, I mean, it is really hard to keep it. But sometimes you just might have to just fuck them up, <laughs> you know. That's what Roadhouse is basically doing, about. <laughs> people doing coke in your bathrooms, you know, and trashing it. You know, yeah, you just got to. I don't care if somebody does coke in the bathroom. Just don't do it trash else. it. Yeah, I mean, just whatever. Just in your truck. I, I, I don't care. As long as you're not, as long as you're not causing trouble, you know, do whatever you want. Just don't yeah. hurt anybody. I think if you're snorting coke you're probably gonna cause some trouble so? a lot of people well, do yeah 90 percent of the time that guy yeah he's like is that guy in the mirror looking at me wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't well, know what coke does that, to like, you i don't know they do coke in the bathroom stall and they come out and then they rip the urinal stall off you know they rip, they rip, <laughs> they rip the divider off the wall i feel like that's some other kind of drug <laughs> you know what i looked up like, coke coke will do that shit to you how do you know I don't do coke, but it, I've done it twice, but it'll make you. I don't do it, but I've done it Years ago, I did try it, but yeah, it makes you just want to shoot the rebar. <laughs> like you feel like you physically can do it. That sounds I mean? awesome, to be honest. <laughs> to think you can do that. Oh, well, yeah, you feel like fucking Superman, yeah. <laughs> how long does it last? Uh, I don't know. The times that I did it, I don't know. You know, hell, I was like 18 or 19, and I mean, we were drunk. I really don't really know how long that lasted. It ended just, you know, passing out, and I have no clue when it <laughs> You know, because we were hammered. We were, like, partying that weekend. I always have a stuffy nose. I don't think I'd be able to do it. You're supposed to clean that stuff out, which I don't endorse doing it. You know, I don't. I don't <laughs> He's giving us all the tips yeah. and tricks on how to do if you own a, I'm not a cocaine dealership and you want to. clear, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with drugs. But. <laughs> Didn't you say you smoke before you come in here? Oh, well, my- <laughs> yeah. It's barely a drug. I'm a florist, yeah. That's better than cigarettes. <laughs> it's legal now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It stinks. Though. I took an ibuprofen the other day. I drink coffee every day. You know? That's more of a drug. That's definitely coffee. <laughs> yeah. And this morning, I, I even noticed that this morning I was drinking coffee. I was at Morgan's house and I had this cup of coffee. I was like, what is wrong with this cup of coffee? And she's like, yeah, I ran out. This is decaf. Like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm glad I don't drink coffee. 
I love it. It tastes good. But then, yeah, it does. Well, it you can you notice. Shit? Yeah, but not like badly. It's just part of my normal. You just take, you know, take a dump. 30 minutes after you drink a cup of coffee and you're fine. Yeah, I can make you shit through a screen door. <laughs> well, maybe if you don't drink it all the time. Or maybe you need more yeah, fiber. It is. <laughs> maybe you need more fiber in your diet. <laughs> no, I got a hell of fiber. It's just coffee. Coffee just, I don't know, just makes you shit. Does that make you shit? Through I don't drink it. It tastes like burnt water to me, so. <laughs> it is just gross. It's so yeah. good. I love black, dark black coffee. It's good. The, I mean, the sugary stuff's good, like the frappuccinos yeah, and stuff. But that's basically, you might as well have a ice cream cone is basically what that is. I'm a sucker for ice cream, though. I've had ice cream, like, every day the last three, four days. Yep. I say I got a shake from Brahms the other day, and it was pretty good. Mm, I know a shake. I now live right around the corner from a Brahms. Vanilla with, like, caramel, I think I really don't know. Peanut butter. Those are good. I get it. Brahms, I think Brahms got the best. Oh, yeah. They're my favorite place to get ice cream. Often. And they got their ch- their <laughs> cones are uh, they're cheap too. Oh yeah, my family from up north always comes down, and whenever we go eat somewhere, we always go eat at the Brahms because they don't have them. They don't have. Yeah. I thought hmm. it was like a big. It'd be like going up to. Uh, you'd be like us going up there and eating, you know, like A and W's. You know, we're mm. something. You know, you don't. There's one of those see. in Branson. An A and W? Really? I don't know if it's still there. I ate there one time. I've never. It been looked one. pretty run down, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was gone. There is. <laughs> I think there is still one in um, one of those outlet malls up there. Yeah, that's where it was. It was in like a big square shopping yep, center. Yeah, it's thing. still yeah. there. Yeah. It was really trashy. We were shopping up there, like beginning or towards the end of this last year. And I, it was still there. Have you been to that Whataburger in Republic yet? Mm-hmm. That opened up. I haven't been, but the line looks I've like it's like, gone I've down. I've eaten other Whataburgers and oh. stuff, but I doubt that this is going to be that good. It's just. I had it one time in the airport. Just because, you know, we haven't ever had it before, you know. And it's just, Dude, they it's raked new, it in. Unless, unless they, <laughs> yeah. Like manager from some other place. I bet it ain't no good. I don't know how often you drive, th- have been driving through Republic, but. It's always packed. Dude, they, it's, they've been open for like a month now and they're just constantly packed. Mm-hmm. Every time I go through there, it's backed up to the Macadoodles or farther. You know, like it's crazy. I'd love to own that place. <laughs> That's a perfect location for it. I mean, kind of. It kind of, you know, What's, fucked, fucked us up getting into Macadoodles and back on the road. What's yeah. that other place they're building, right? Like two doors down? Culver's. Now, that's something I can get Yeah, that's behind. good. I like Culver's. Well, isn't that, what else is right there? Is there Popeye's. A, yeah, that's what it was. Dude, Popeye's, like, Sucks. I'm pretty sure Whataburger, <laughs> Whataburger just uses Popeye's parking lot as their drive through Like, I can't believe they haven't. <laughs> I've tried Popeye's, <laughs> yeah. like, three different times, and I like, didn't like it. We don't have like room. We just won't put a room right here. <laughs> <laughs> Popeyes opened like three people showed up to it. So there, there was a Chick Fil A truck at the at the Chevy dealership yesterday. I bet oh, they're yeah. thinking about putting one in Republic. That would be awesome. It's all about uh, Zaxby's. No, like Chick Fil A. They had a Chick Fil A food truck in the Chevy parking lot, and maybe they're like testing the water to see how well it would do. Mm. Food trucks are pretty cool. A Chick Fil A food truck. Mm-hmm. I love like it had a huge line. I love like a taco truck, like Mexican food from a truck. That's yeah. always so good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a taco truck or something like that. Piss on Chick Fil A truck. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to Chick Fil A. It's not we that bad. Take that, that back. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like the people who have like Mexican food trucks are because they like they can't legally own a business here, so they do it that way, and that's how you know it's the good Mexican food. <laughs> because it's that was really <laughs> racist. <laughs> we might have that out. Everybody was watching this podcast that are illegals are now like, ooh, yeah, what? Some deep <laughs> Let me get a oh no. Yeah, you probably ought to cut that one out there, maybe. <laughs> Twenty eight minutes, Mexico, <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny shit. No food trucks are really like the bomb. Dot com though, for sure. There is one that's in Springfield over by, um, I want to say it's the B. Glenstone. You know, like where the Springfield Leather Company is? Mm-hmm, that big, long strip mall right there. Yep. So if you turn off the sunshine on the Glenstone, Springfield Leather would be on your left. Pretty sure it's just right up there on the right, and it sits in some kind of like laundromat parking lot or something. And they got like a carport out front of it. But it's... it's like right. Mexican food food truck? Oh, yeah. And you know you can get yeah one of those um what are those things called Joritos? <laughs> you know, oh, the sodas. Yeah, yeah, you can get them sodas and you know pretty, Joritos. Pretty, pretty, pretty good <laughs> amount of uh, food for like you know twelve thirteen bucks, but I called in like twenty minutes early. And yeah, quit talking lunch. about it. I'm gonna want some. Uh, Me and Kendall, we ate at this this Mexican joint in Rogersville yesterday, and I got a steak quesadilla. Well, it had it had steak, chicken, whole uh, and pineapple in it. It was so good. That's probably the and cheese, obviously, but that was probably the best quesadilla I've ever had. They it went was to good. Uh, uh, Big Bend National Park, like 
the Rio Grande in Texas, mm. and didn't you said they didn't you didn't have any Mexican food? N- there was like no food. <laughs> Period. <laughs> it was out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I guess. Whatever was in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> we. Just, there was one restaurant in the in the park. Thankfully, and we drove to it, and I got dinner, and I was paying for everything, and we I got the bill, and it was like. We we each got the same thing. It was like a chicken strip that long, three of them, hundred and twenty four dollars. <laughs> I was like, oh god, dang! Yeah, she is. It was good though. It was good, but not There's filling. No that good, but not filling. <laughs> no. How many chickens could you buy for that for hundred twenty four dollars? <laughs> I don't know, right? It was awesome. It was a mountainside restaurant. No, we don't do chickens. Hell no, we only do beef and pork. Yeah, we don't do game or nothing. What's the like the day to day? Oh, you don't do deer, nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. What's your day to day look close like? Down for like cross condem- uh, cross contamination in the coolers. Mm. So we got like one meat cooler, so you can't have game in the same. Um, That's weird. Well, it's because you know there's cooling units and fans in there that coolers kept you know whatever thirty something degrees, and so there's just big fans that push the air around. So it's just you know there's bacteria in there. Mm-hmm. So if you got deer. Or you know, like a wild pig or something like that hanging up in there. It can, it'll really fuck up your beef. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. I guess there's a lot of things people don't think about. about so it. is it oh, yeah. like the stockyards will bring you beef or is it farmers or is it a little bit oh, of both? Yeah. So that's what's nice about the one um, that I work for. Because we, uh, my boss had started originally to mainly pull from like Walmart and a lot of big chain stores. Um, so people can get locally raised beef. Okay. And so right now we're going through our state certifications. And so right now we're just, um, you know, killing for like local farmers and stuff like that. And so with the add on, we're hoping to have like a farmer's market at one point too, where people can sell corn and whatever, you know, all kinds of shit they raise. So you don't even have to go to the store. So are you selling two stores right now? Or is it just like a, a farmer comes no, in, yeah, gets his right cows now. butchered, and then he gets all the meat? Yeah. Or? Yep. He gets all the meat. That's gotcha. how it is right now. And um, after we get state certified, then we'll be able to. Sell, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't know how that goes. Like I said, I'm, I'm just a killer. So <laughs> what my day consists of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that um, that's a lot of fun. So we started out just doing like two day a week kill we, uh, kill days. And we got pretty busy. And so now I have three days to where I kill. So Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And it'll be some days it's all pork. Some days it's all beef. Sometimes I got to mix and match. I don't like those days because it takes longer because, you know, I got to clean up, you know. In between. between stuff. Okay, we'll try to keep this as PG-13 as possible. But how do you how do you do it? Like, is it a... I shoot them with 22 mag. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if we use, like, a bolt gun or anything. Some of them, some bitches are just too crazy, you know. You don't want to get near them. Mm. You, can't, you know, you can't. You can't get up on them, so, yeah. You ever seen the movie uh, just, <clears throat> Country for Old Men? Hmm. Yeah. And he's got that. That's the thing he kills people with. Isn't yeah. that what people like some don't some butchers use that to kill mm-hmm. cows? Yeah, it's like a nail gun. That's what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a or a bolt gun. Yeah, yeah, it's like an air powered thing that just like a big metal bolt comes out this far. Just like, and you just like put it against their head yeah, or so something, don't you? And, yeah. mm. and just that's how he killed people in the movie. Like a half inch hole in them. He'd carry around like a compressed air tank and that thing. <laughs> yeah, and he's like blow the, he'd blow the hinges <laughs> off the door. Oh, yeah. Like your dead bolt. He'd blow with it. That was yeah, good. Does it actually? Does it, it leave like, the bolt, or does it? it is it reusable? Comes back in. Yeah, yeah, it retracts. It uh, and it's like a half. It's just a bolt, you know. <laughs> those things are pretty handy, but, but I can see if you didn't want to get right up next. Yeah, time. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, a little a personal. Lot stuff, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that we do, like I've had to do a bunch of capes and stuff because people bring in like big long horns, you know, and shit like that. And so you know, you don't want to have any kind of damaged skulls, so you don't want no holes in them, mm. you know. And you gotta, you know, like cape them out down. Towards their breasts, you have plenty of hide to tuck and stuff if they want like a full mount. But if it's just like a European mount, you know, no hide, you still just don't want a big old fucking half inch hole in the forehead, you know? <laughs> I mean, it uh, depends on how symmetrical it is. You can put a little diamond in there, you know, something. Something, not a little rhinestone. Yeah. <laughs> but, My girlfriend's uh, a vegetarian. I'm going to have to make sure she doesn't watch this episode. What are, <laughs> whatever you go. I like that. What, what, <laughs> whatever you go to a uh, <laughs> yeah you know yeah, what do you mean you're an inside trader yeah, yeah, I love red meat <laughs> what do you call uh, 
like whenever you go to like Brahms or somewhere like that, what do, what what do they call the meat that's not? It's like plant based meat. What do they call that? Well, there's there's just yeah, brands of it for like no, impossible there's or, impossible or meat. Beyond. I was gonna, I was like shit that's like fake. Yeah, I was gonna make a joke. I was like, and today's sponsor yeah. is Impossible <laughs> Meat. <laughs> Faking, you know, Honestly, I've tried some of it. It's not that bad. <laughs> For three of my sisters are vegetarian, uh, and my girlfriend is. And I had, I had like, uh, they had the at, at uh, Panda Express the orange chicken that's like Beyond or Impossible or something. Mm. You really can't tell that much of a difference. I imagine as the technology well, gets better. I don't better, even think the chicken, like if you order chicken, the chicken, you eat the fucking chicken. So. <laughs> Where do you think it comes from? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I saw on... Some place that Goopy Hot Dog comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't care as long as it tastes good. Yeah, chicken nuggets aren't anything, really. <laughs> I just had some of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, day. yeah. You know, he knows spicy what they are. Spicy nuggets yeah. from Wendy's on the way over. <laughs> just kind of ground up whatever's left. Mm, hoofs, butter, Here, hold on. I got to... Uh, I forgot. We got to do it in two sections on the video now. Oh yeah, because that way it'll. Video files are too big to process before. That nah, that'd be good shit. Yeah, just edit like every twenty minutes or something. You gonna do mine? Well, never mind. Yours, Mine's you TikTok. Really send me yours anyways. Yeah, that works. Yeah, we're good. But um, no, yeah, uh, we were talking about putting it down. So yeah, twenty bag. You know, because there is some pretty like brutal shit all over the place. Telling like, how people do it. Yeah, I'm sure. And yeah, they. Whenever people talk to me about it, they're just uneducated about a lot of it. Because people don't know. You know what I mean? You're really not taught any of that kind of shit in school. Unless you, like, see it or meet somebody who does it. You know, you really don't, you know, get to learn about it. And so a lot of people think it's just hostile as fuck. We just string them up and chop their heads off. Well, it's <laughs> it's amazing how much cool we... It feels like that. <laughs> big old fucking axe. <laughs> oh, I can do it. It's interesting how, like, how big of a part of life that is like that's how we get all of our food and stuff but it really is like pushed behind the curtains to where nobody <laughs> sees it like yeah. do you think if people saw it more there would be more push a- away from me and towards all these plant-based things if it was more uh transparent no not if it if it was actually broadcast you like know, the like way it that it's actually, actually like yeah process you know yeah if the processing was actually you know people were actually allowed to like view it and see it in the correct ways because you know there are rules in place that we have to follow. Half the shit that people are bitching about online and are always cussing and stuff, those people ain't going by the book of like nothing. You know what I mean? That's why half the time it's always so like gruesome or it's it's done, you know, I don't know, improperly, I guess is a good word for it. If there was, if if scientists come up with a way to where they made a steak that wasn't animal-based versus a normal steak and they you couldn't tell the difference they were like identical would you would you switch to the scientific one that you didn't have to kill something you wouldn't no why not a chance even if it even if it tasted and felt the same the well because you got to think well because it's the ingredients are the same like let's hypothetically we we made like a 3d printer that was like perfect 50 years from now i think they've tried something weird like that hey technology gets better all the time we're just saying hypothetically yeah obviously they haven't done it yet because you know like for the most part we get to control our food's food. You know, so like I know what you know, I know what my cow's eating. And mm-hmm. so processing my cow and eating it, you know, it's even better. But gotcha. then you'd really know what's in it. It's just made in a lab. You know exactly what you'd use those ingredients to make the steak, basically is what we're talking about. It's wrong. Why? We well, it was unnatural. It's wrong. Well, what's I mean, what's natural, you know? Eating animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, cows aren't natural eating altogether. Yeah, though. Eating cows <laughs> not shaving your chest. That's just natural shit. Yeah. <laughs> cows wouldn't exist if people didn't make them. Just like dogs, you know, we did that. Yeah, dogs. That's yeah. That's a fuck. All up. these domesticated things. Yeah. How do you think dog tastes? I'd imagine it'd have to taste amazing, <laughs> considering that like every year in China they have that big dog eating fest, and it's like two. They do. Yeah, like two hundred twenty thousand dogs, like annually or something, are eating for a big festival. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! You you're out there walking your dog or something, some thug, just snatch, snatch it up. From yeah, I'll go cook it down the street. It sounds like something we'd get in trouble for. I mean, <laughs> oh here, fuck yeah, no, for dude, just... we'd be hung in the streets. Yeah, if we're doing shit like that. Hmm. If you're, you I know, like my dog. grilling the dog or something. You know, yeah, your neighbors would have a fucking fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, there's some the cow cup it one too many times. Well, I mean, That's even, Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. Even, there, I'm even like, even a goat or like a pig. Though. I mean, people just you know don't like that shit. You know what I mean? Some people like some people smell meat and they're like, you know, and just get like nasty about it. And I don't really care what people fucking eat. You know what I mean? But if you are gonna eat beef, it's definitely 
cheaper, you know, to have a beef processed or to go in on one instead of going to the store. Have you ever had any of that Wagyu <laughs> stuff? Yeah, steak. a couple times. It's supposed to be really good. And so the other day at Walmart, I saw some and I was like, it's pretty cheap. So I got it. And my dumb ass, I thought it was a steak, but it was ground beef. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I buy it. I was like, it's $7 for a pound. That's nothing. I'll buy it, you know. Get home. I open it up and it's just a pound of like Bush, ground yeah. beef. And I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to have like a good ass steak. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. I, depending on how it's cooked. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it can be really good, but I think a lot of places though kind of. Fuck you on it though. You know, if you pay eighty, ninety dollars for it. So supposedly the best stuff like is in Japan. They that's where they oh, like yeah. they do the best wagyu mm-hmm. something. I don't know. That's they where, like invented yeah, it or something. From. Yeah. I'd like to go to Japan. I bet they got good food. I love sushi. Oh yeah. I'm a fan of the Orient for sure. I'd like to go to Japan. <laughs> I've heard somebody call it the Orient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely like to go over there. Is that a is that racist? Do people is that a term that uh, people are, accept these days? I don't know. I guess we'll find out on here in the comments section. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. I don't know. I mean, like, if you were to go in and, like, you know, get a tattoo, you would say, like, you know, Japanese Oriental style. I you so. know what I mean? You got I any really tattoos? <laughs> no. You don't? Body's a temple. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. <laughs> no, I don't have any tattoos. I'd like to have a bunch eventually, but... Not that much of a temple then, huh? No. Yeah. Eventually, I said, you know, that's whenever the temple starts to decay. <laughs> when I was in high school, in my biology class, we went to MSU and we got to like see cadavers, like dead people mm-hmm. who dated their body to science, and some of them had tattoos on them. So, but their their body was like preserved really well, but their tattoo and the tattoo was like brightly colored, like they yeah. had got it in their old age or something because they were old people. Uh, and but you could still see the tattoos perfectly fine, perfectly even though fine. the skin was like gray and weird looking. I really thought you were going to tell that story, and I was like, mm. That's for the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. No, that's just kind of cool. Yeah, it was cool. Because yeah. you get to see, like, stuff you don't normally see. I remember they had, like, the arm laid open, and you yeah. could, like, grab the tendons the and tendons. move the fingers with it, you know, and, like, see and touch all this. I held oh, yeah. a person's brain in my hand, and I was like, I had, like, a... Do you look like Joe? Well, no, it's, like, hardened because <laughs> it was, like, in formaldehyde or oh. something. And I just, I remember holding and thinking, I was, like, having an experience. I was like, this is somebody's whole fucking yeah. <laughs> life in yeah. my hands right now. Everything that they ever did happened in this thing right here. Yeah. That's crazy. Right here, yeah. He's just dead. <laughs> And then I had to, <laughs> then you move on. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Just yeah. You're a corpse. Yeah. Yeah. We, how do you want to donate it to science? I guess wouldn't ah. it wouldn't be terrible, but it's not for me. You wouldn't know, probably, right? Could they keep your brain alive? <laughs> well, I not right now, like but Futurama just put your shit. In the no, I'm just like. I, obviously, I have no idea how the body <laughs> right works, now, but, but I'm just thinking definitely like definitely working on it. But like, you just need some kind of electric signal, right? No. It's the brain is like <laughs> the brain is if like you got a twelve volt battery. You know, <laughs> yeah, a, you fish, a, lot a of fish tank, a toaster, and an outlet. Yeah. I thought you had to have like some kind of electrical signal. You had to have oxygen through blood, and that was pretty much all you know. The for brain, your brain like the brain and like quantum physics are like the two biggest like mysteries in science. We have no clue how the brain does everything that it does. We could not. We can't make a brain. We can't keep a brain alive. <laughs> well, the more you find out, the less you know. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There, there's, yeah. Especially whenever something throws you for a loop, you're like that. That just fucked up everything. And then you realize it's a whole new thing. Yeah, that's yeah. how it works. It's yeah. Nobody knows how the brain works. We can't do that. I saw. A, I think it was a podcast or a TikTok the other day, and it was talking about that Chat GBT deal. And it was like this guy. He was like, we really don't even know what consciousness is, so we really don't even know. Well, yeah. How this? Point. If this thing. It's a really vague concept yeah. to say, like, is, is something a live Have you heard of that chat GPT? <laughs> yeah. No, but I've it's heard a, about the con- like the debate with consciousness. No. Yeah, and I think I think that debate's really funny. Continue what you're going to say. Well, it's just an AI thing that came out probably about a month ago. We've been using it all the time. It's, like, the best, like, text-based AI there is, and it's free to the public. You can get online and use it, and you can, like, ask it to do something, and it'll just spit out a bunch of, like, it, oh, it talks like a person and I can understand I things. Stuff like that on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. And it, it understands things, like, as if you were a person having a conversation with it. You know, you could you could ask it to write a story about such, 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 such and it does. So and you then, don't think it's conscious, or you do? We don't. The point is, we don't know. Because uh, we don't even really know what, what consciousness is. Consciousness? is. Terminator and Decepticons. Well, the, the crazy thing is it, about it too. 
The crazy oh, really? thing, yeah. <laughs> you can be like, to say. "Are you alive? Are Is you?" It a program response. No, it's not. That's the thing because you can. It can make all. Well, then what's its answer? What if it's 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 different every time? It's it's like having a conversation with a person. Well, you can not tell it. If I was real, you know, I can. I don't know. It well, says. If you had to give an example of like to prove that you were conscious. How would you do it? That's the point. That's uh, there's a whole argument about that. There's a what's it called? I wish I remembered the name of it. There's a there's a solipsism is the is the name for the belief a person who has the belief that everything outside of their own mind is fake and nobody else around them is like a real conscious living being and there's like no physical real way you could prove to somebody that you are a living mm-hmm. you know you can't you can't prove that to somebody they just have to <clears throat> use reasoning and believe it like you don't know that i'm alive you know that i'm not just a robot and this is all uh uh, simulation test that some aliens put on you and that you're in right now. We're it's just, working pretty good. And we're yeah. A <laughs> plus yeah, aliens. Yeah. <laughs> this, this seems real to me, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if one day we did learn how to do that? We make a program with brains inside. We of did. It. No, not, we can make a universe in a program like this. We can do this. <laughs> that. Like Sims. But, like, every person, every character in Sims has, like, an actual experience, like what you're doing right now, and, like, can think and dream and want. What's right. crazy about the thing is it hmm. compounds knowledge, right? Yeah, Because, like, it knows everything that is on the internet, and everything that's on the internet is everything we know. Well, not this one in okay, particular. So what is it, how does it distinguish, does it have reason to distinguish, you know, fact? Fact from fiction. So, I mean, so anybody, what is anybody, fact? Anybody though? can get on Wikipedia. And That's say yeah, something, you know? yeah. Well, you don't know fact from fiction either. Obviously, as good as you know, you don't know absolute facts just because you're a conscious being. You just know what you've learned, and you don't know what, how accurate any of it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't know if anything to an, to an extent, but no. Yeah, I I, th- I think that kind of shit all the time. You know, it's like half the half the words that we use and stuff is just something that some Joe Blow came up with. And that's the best we can do. Yeah, yeah and yeah. and it's all we can go on. We can't theories and all this shit's named after certain people just because that was the guy that thought about it. He's like, well, this is yeah, how yeah. we're gonna do it. And we've been talking about this too. Like, I'll, we'll use words and sentences, and then I'll be like, I'll pick one word out of that, and I'll be like, if I really thought about that, I don't know what that word means, but I use it. Like, what does the word well, sentence mean? A lot of words don't have meaning without. You, you, we don't context other words. Yeah, without, yeah. without context yeah i mean and there's a point where and some just, words mean different things depending on the context yeah. mm-hmm. language is is just a tool we use to try to help understand like reality yeah so the words aren't perfect but the concepts are what we're trying but to, like, the chat bt thing what's a human can do is they can they could read 10 books and all they have in their brain is what they retained and it may not be organized right the chat bt or chat GBT, whatever G-P-T. it's called. GPT. Yeah, that thing. It uh, <laughs> it can look at the ten books and know exactly what they said and compare them all and get a get an answer. Well, out of it. that's it, crazy. This one in particular, it says it doesn't have very updated information more recently than 2021 because that's when it was like built. I mm-hmm. guess uh, it doesn't have like super new information. You can't ask it like details about something right now. You know, stats about something. Yeah. But it does know other things. You know, you can ask it to write, tell you a summary of a book you want to read and it'll just tell you it right off the bat. Or you can make a book, you can write a book with it. You can write code with it. You can do anything with it. It's crazy. I used it for, I wrote blog posts with it to try to make some money, see if it would work. And you can just tell it, all the, you're like, I want to write something such, such and such about this, 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 this. It'll spit it out. And you can be like, uh, make it a little bit longer or take out these words or make it funnier or write it like Shakespeare would have written it and it'll do it. <laughs> see, it sounds half ass. I used to write fucking book reports and stuff. And, this I, enjoy, is gonna, and I enjoy reading and writing, yeah. and, you know, doing that kind this of thing. This is going to change things like that. There's people, I guarantee you, in school right now who have already used this and, like schools will have to change how they do homework now because well, that's the question: Is it valuable to be able to write your own story, or is it valuable just to be able to get the information? Yeah, we don't know. Like most people think it's it's you know it's valuable to be able to do your own math problems, and well, I could agree to it, that in really some point. Perception on it, you know, because I mean, in reality, that's that's what everything's really based on is our human perception of things. Because I mean, it, yeah. everything's different through different outlooks. You know, mm-hmm. so I mean, we could all three sit down here and read the same. You that's know, a good point. Read yeah. the same part of the same book. 
and we could all three get different learn things different things. Yeah, yeah. Wait, and definitely that's know, and that's part of what makes so society tick that. is that we all have our own. Everything works because everybody has different perspectives, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And if everybody gets all their information from the same place, it's going to be fucked up. So, how are human? Like, what are we going to value then after that? Because if this thing can, if this thing can make art, if it can write stories, if we can do all that, that's the stuff we value in well, culture. Like what he said, the value is so far. It has different perspectives that that you know we we all have backstories. We have we have lives that made us have perspectives on things. So every time we learn something, there's like a backstory that gets added onto it that makes affects how you know something. And that AI doesn't have that, you know. Hmm. Well, see, so like, how, yeah, exactly. So like, how you know, if you were to sit down and write a paper for a grade, you know, would you rather pump it through that, or would you rather just sit down and do it yourself? You know, if you just had to, if you had to do it. Oh, I would rather, rather pump it through the that. deal. But if it was something well, I cared about, I'd rather do it myself. Yeah, see, if, it, if you did it yourself and say there's 10 of you that did the same, you know, took the same test. If you did it yourself and, you know, whenever you got your result back and you just got shit on because everybody else used that, you know, that algorithm, you know, how are you going to feel? Because then you're going to have to be like, well, look, teacher or computer or whatever the fuck's grading your paper at this Mm -hmm. point also yeah you know what i mean but that's the question why is it well valuable to write your own thing like why is that something that should be taught so what are the teachers that depends on what what you would be trying to figure out by the like why are they making you you write the paper yeah Yeah. what is the paper's purpose yeah well you can say that now what is like why do we write papers in school now that's why i'm wondering i'm not a teacher i don't actually know (laughs) well we're just we're just here talking you want to know that your kids you know, know understand can, English yeah, and how to and how can words read work and write and and I mean you don't necessarily don't need to know exactly how to break down your fucking sentences but you know you definitely need to be able to you know conduct yourself mm-hmm. and understand a lot of that stuff and I think that's why they make us write those kind of papers. Um, so is that going people. away? Well, think about your well, resume and stuff. You know, like would you rather just give a resume you know, like a detailed uh, a detailed list to that computer and have it like. Pump well, that's what we're talking about. Like, and just make some kind of fucking bio for if, you out if, of all that shit, or would if, you rather be honest and you know? If this thing works properly, you won't need the job. That's the crazy part. That, yeah, that is the point. The crazy <laughs> because thing. it will. There are a lot of jobs it's that getting down to being it's just laziness, though. Well, what's it? What does it? We all want to be lazy. <laughs> like, if it allows that's us our, to, that's our decline. That's tr- because that's true. why there's so much shit that we've lost in in the in the years past is just because you know we forget shit there's a lot of forgotten knowledge we can't remember but that everything. thing can't forget knowledge because if it's yeah, written down point. it's yeah. all there but see we can exactly that's why i'm saying this thing is insane because every it's crazy uh two people they have a child that child starts from zero he has to learn what his parents can or teach she. him he or she can <laughs> teach him and then they get their own life story that thing knows everybody's past and everybody's knowledge and it starts from it starts from now with all of the previous knowledge going forward unlike a human that has to learn everything so but what what is the point of that i mean what we're getting down to really is why what is the point of being alive this is what we're getting down to well you've got to so. you've got to have something to get down well i mean i see what he's talking about because like with the technology you have to have something to do you know, I mean, that's why old people that retire just sit down in their chair and die. Yeah, they ain't got nothing true, to do. True, you I know? totally agree. So you've got to have. See, what? and that's why I said that's why I use the word laziness, because you know, for the most part, a lot of it is. But there's still a lot of jobs that aren't going to be able to be, um, yet replaced by that. And so these are like what big are, ideas. What, that what we're would about. the what would the? I mean, if there's like a pay gap still, because there's still going to be you know like laborer jobs. For a lot of things, well, like hands-on stuff. So what? Maybe are, not. What's going to be the difference between computer labor and this kind of? I labor? literally just there's watched not going to ever be a computer that does what I do. Maybe I literally I mean, just watched like the video and stuff. But I mean, yeah, there I'm might be a com- there might be a computer smart enough to know how to find a solution to the problem of us killing animals, and we your job may go away. That's what like that's what's this entirely. See, that would be absurd. Like unless you're talking like maybe like like fucking way after our lifetime i don't know let's think this thing learns like like, (laughs) maybe maybe in a thousand years people ain't gonna be eating fucking cows because yeah they might be living in elon's fucking mars camp i don't know but yeah there's not gonna be a time that people aren't eating meat of any sorts i mean that's just how it is fish beef and pork. but if this if this computer thing 
knows it combines everybody's information than what together all of us can think and it builds this builds the, or knows how to build this machine Keep that will make cloudy with a chance of meatballs machine sure yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, we're, maybe just, maybe we're just we're just <laughs> we're just <laughs> talking about would you eat that hamburger fuck no let's see i would see, that's interesting <laughs> well because if it's just accumulating things because that's the thing what 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 is the matter being composed of in that scenario you know, all of the like, same things that that's, the cow that's all meat coming is out of the of. sky that's like fucking cow farts and that's diesel fuel and that's a bunch of like you know excess shit that we've polluted the Maybe. Earth. What if this thing... We're, we're getting crazy. <laughs> but what if yeah. this thing knows how to clean all the pollution up? Yeah. Well, so... That, like, you know what that would be? Slaughtering us. That would be a... That, that, that's like, that that's, that's the whole thing. thing. That's where we get to the... What is the point of being alive? You know what I mean? That would that's be, where that we get to where maybe us. this is our next evolution and this thing wipes yeah. us out. So like, because we're if, no longer what needed. What this thing figures yeah, out... He just clicks. He's like, these guys are the problem. <laughs> because, yeah. Gone. It's like trying to solve all of our problems. It's like, wait. He's going to make... Get money. rid of you he's and we're fine. That's what Ultron did in the Marvel movies. That's his whole thing. He was like, people are the problem. Kill everybody. I know that's really far... We are the problem. That's the basis of every sci-fi movie for the last 40 years okay. i know that's really far out in the conspiracy world but if you think about it it's like mm. <laughs> that would make sense well and well, have you seen all the drones and shit like them dog them dog walking ones the ones they like kick over and they'll stand back up and shit well, there was a I watched one thing like that where it was yeah, like hunting yeah. people and i was thinking fuck yeah that thing can run 40 miles an hour. It's going to get me. I just mm, watched the thing day. Like jump through windows and shit. It's going to get me. Boston Dynamics is like a, ro- a company who's working on robotics like that. And I, mm-hmm. literally today I saw a TikTok of them showing one do it, running around a construction site, like doing things that a construction worker does. Yeah. It would like pick up a tool bag, jump over, climb up scaffolding, pick up a, a board, place on a thing, walk across the board, climb up some scaffolding, hand a tool bag to somebody. Do a backflip off of the scaffolding. <laughs> see, in order to, well, see, actual suits. I've seen a bunch of shit like that, like kind of like some. Oh, know, that a person that would you, wear. Yeah, yeah. That you can like pick up pallets and shit with, and that kind of stuff. That's why. Well, okay, you probably couldn't get like have computers just do everything because you have to have an actual physical feel for what like what you're doing in unless, life. So <laughs> unless it knows building, how to build I it. Just well, no, but I mean, like if you're building. <laughs> um, well, because dude, think about it. Like the knowledge that we have as far as like just use weather for example, they, them dicks don't fucking know nothing. You know, say that this computer's getting all of his information about the weather, same thing that we are. You can read something about a storm or about, you know, like a hurricane or something. But unless you, like, fucking see it, you know, or, like, are a part of it or, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, actually get to, like, experience it, you have no fucking clue. But what if it you know, can experience like, so yeah, that computer yeah. going to experience that? Well, we're talking about a, a thing. If it had feelings to what be able to comprehend that, then it would be conscious. Yeah, that's what we're getting. At. Like, well, what if it's when, conscious and way saying. smarter than us? Is what we're getting at. It can, it's conscious and can compile information in the life of a hundred million people. You know, what what a way that it's gonna that it might in the future solve all those problems that it won't have any of those is what if instead we figure out how the brain works enough to put all of our brains into a simulation and you don't need the real mm-hmm. construction, you don't need the real meat, you don't need the real anything because it's all. Just your digital. None of that. You don't has to even be real. need. <laughs> See, that's a crock of shit. Why not? Why? There's people that spend like like hundreds of thousands of like real money on like fucking virtual reality houses and stuff. And, and it's like a hundred years from now, GTA or something like. Well, you can't <laughs> stop the technology. It's already here. Yeah, people are gonna. It's just gonna keep going and going and going. I yeah. think if the option came along, I would want to be uploaded into the into the matrix. You know, I want to live forever digitally. I think it'd Maybe be cool. what happens if somebody just shuts it off? Well, there's like fuck that's going to happen to me anyways. One day, day. <laughs> like what like, happens? Everybody that just did this. Yeah, what happens whenever this is no longer publicly available and only the richest people in the world or the government gets to have access to this kind of technology? <laughs> well, it could be, and then we're just left. We're just left for chumps. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The plug on me eventually, anyway. So might as well have a chance at not having the plug pulled. Or we're talking a lot of negative. I'm going to die. I want, plug pull. I want like I want to die gloriously. Gloriously, whatever that may be. How's that? Um, what do you want? I have one of these AI things come punches yeah. you in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, robo spinning kick. <laughs> and it's gonna say something about you dying for for all of mankind all, or something. Yeah. yeah, for the good of the of the people or something. <laughs> for all the cows are slaughtered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you know what? I deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I I do think that you know stuff could possibly get that advanced in the future, but. 
It's, I can't it's wait. It's never to, gonna like completely. It's not gonna cha- affect our lives like that for years. I cannot wait to come watch this video fifty years from now. I we're in a time where there are multiple if things. We still to have all this stuff. What? Oh, all of this will still be here because it's in that. Yeah. Not for the fucking apocalyptic world. Mad Max kind of shit. Yeah, maybe. Well, then it didn't matter. We're all, we're all running around with fucking. So yeah. then we got to have it on on a satellite out in space. You know the cloud. <laughs> no, fuck the cloud. I don't have anything on there. You do. Your everything on your phone goes mm-hmm. through the cloud. Nope, mine doesn't. I don't have none of the cloud settings or none of that stuff set up. Do you use email? Use it. Um, like whenever I had Facebook, I did. If you use email, you got the cloud. If you ever log into something, it's stored on the cloud. If you have pictures, they're on the cloud. If you have anything, it's just how the Not internet if you works. Don't upload that stuff to it. If you you, that's like with Google phones and stuff. If you Google use Facebook shit. or if you use Snapchat. Cloud. It's, it's getting packed every time I'm in a plane. I well, just like yeah, we Snapchat, go through the Snapchat definitely saves shit. Yeah. Know. If you can log into it on a different computer and have your same stuff, it's the cloud, you know? Yeah, it's in there. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a server somewhere that's connected to the internet. I don't know. It's access. getting packed. Every time I'm in a plane, we like go through the clouds and there's like YouTube videos all over the place. It's just <laughs> I like man, trying come to on. That joke and I'm <laughs> trying to force you to not <laughs> <laughs> It is packed up right Yeah, yeah, I know, it's getting crazy. Get crazy. <laughs> Just think about how much, because that stuff has to all be stored physically somewhere, right? I have a hard drive over there in my backpack. Somewhere in San Francisco or wherever, there's just rooms full of hard drives, of after oh, hard shit. drive, yeah. after hard drive. And at every day, there's probably <coughs> thousands of terabytes of stuff being added to that, you know? What what happens in the in the future? I guess it just gets smaller and smaller, and condensed. You know, a lot of it's just the dumb shit that we all send each other for the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you, you, you don't want to delete anything off your phone. No, I don't. Half of it you'll never look at again, but you don't want to delete it. I go through my Snapchats. I got like five thousand something videos saved, like in my phone. It's just all dumb. I love, shit. Like, dumb I shit. love seeing yeah. all my old well, stuff. Like, I probably have videos of us, you know, whenever we were talking about blowing mm-hmm. the fucking garage up and stuff. Like, I got <laughs> videos from a lot of that stuff. I like guarantee you it. came in and karate kicked me while I was in that box. <laughs> yeah. Punched my arms out of the box and you kicked the fuck out of me. Yeah. Uh, that was the same night that like we were after you and um I would just remember that, that taser. I hated that taser. Yeah. 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 I remember I was shot. pissing in that bathroom and I got at shop. That <laughs> and I, I you opened the door behind me while I was peeing it. You didn't it wasn't actually connected to anything. Yeah, it was just a fucking <laughs> I had my back to you. <laughs> I don't remember if it was you or if it was Cordell, but one time when you got me in the back of the leg at a bonfire, mm. and dude, I jumped and like turned around so bad, I like had a cramp in my back <laughs> for three days afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we used to carry them in our trucks. Those hot shots are fun. I bought my sister. <laughs> I know, you used to chase us <laughs> around all the That's time. the house down the driveway, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to dumb shit there, play with like brake cleaner and fire and electricity and there's no telling how much money Cordell's dad spent in brake cleaner. They always had piles of that stuff. Stop buying the flammable. I remember oh. that, uh, that day that I actually was like in flames. <laughs> My hoodie was covered to me and Cordell had just been like spraying each other. And we were both scared shitless. We couldn't get it to light. So we were just, just soaking each other and giggling like a couple of jackasses. And finally his and it hits me and just... My whole fucking body. Could have been the end of you. Oh yeah. Could have been the end of the mullet for sure. And I was packing it. I was like, you know, trying to get it to go out and stuff. Stop dropping and rolling. Well, I ran out of the shop first, you know, because there's just grease and shit all over the floor. So I ran out into the into the yard out front (laughs) and laid down the gravel. And I stood up and I was like, we were just giggling, you know, we were dying laughing. And Ronnie was down at the house. He looked up. He's like. That's enough of that shit. <laughs> and that was the last time. That's he, all he said. And then you, the next box that came in was fucking uh, non flammable. Do you <laughs> remember whenever we were cleaning up his shop and you had the the, the dust pan on the floor mm-hmm. and he was sleeping up this dust and he goes, Well, that's the last of Grandma. <laughs> yeah, because somebody spilt something. And I had to use her to clean up something. The, the oil dry or whatever. Yeah, you're like, yeah. That's the last. I died laughing. That was the stuff out of the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we gotta use it for we gotta use it for cleanups. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, I haven't been over there in a long time. Mm. I haven't we used to have a lot of fun in that shop. Mm-hmm. I remember one time when I had that blue <laughs> that six two, uh, and I had it running. It was pouring down rain outside, and it was a manual, so it was just in neutral, sitting there. And you, it was loud as fuck, and you could mm-hmm. hear it inside the shop and then i just noticed it's like i can't hear it anymore and i ran outside and it had rolled all the way across that gravel into that fuel tank they had <laughs> it was sitting on the other side of the driveway it, like rolls up. it didn't like break anything or dent anything but it just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> in the pouring rain. <laughs> I've had my truck roll off there too, just because it's like a perfect slope. You know, you yeah. can stop and it stays, and you get out and you come back and your shit's gone. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> no, I remember like, being like, like a bunch of times at Cordell's. I was like, did it die or something? <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, just, just silent. Farther farther. <laughs> That's fine. Do you remember we had that picture? All of us were driving second gen Dodges at the time. We got like a picture of us. There's like six second gen Dodges out there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that picture. It's a pretty cool picture. I can't From back in the day. First or second Cordell's, gen Dodge. Cordell's Peach, that one's still on grain. Is it? Yeah, whoever bought it. I see. I love that while. truck. I sold that. Uh, I still got that same pipe on it. The little factoid. Mm. Whenever uh, we put the stack on the bottom of that truck. We were using an impact and Ugga Dug is a little too tight and we couldn't get the They couldn't get the socket off, yeah. It's been on that truck for like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to start it and stop it again? Uh, You're oh, yeah, another 30 minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll say, didn't you say 30 minutes? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to grab my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, that price sounds bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Does it? Oh, yeah. Good. I've been weirded out about it. Oh, those are good. These are so Give good. me one. We want to do snack sticks at work, and it would be so badass. You got any more of those? Stuff like that. So, give me half. I asked one. one. <laughs> I'll nibble on it with you. I got one of these every day. That's why I was saying the other day on Austin's podcast, I was like, if we get a beef jerky sponsor, I'm totally down. Cause <laughs> I'd be like a hundred thousand a month worth of beef jerky. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say something that I. You didn't tell us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I sold that white uh, Dodge, the half ton, to a guy in Crane. I see it running around in Billings every once in a while, mm-hmm. like a half ton third gen body style with long bed, single cab with like a reflective red and white strip across the back. Yeah, it's <clears throat> loud as fuck. I remember that. I sold it to Gang Crane for twice what I bought it from him for. Good. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it was he's, his truck, he's, and his dad <laughs> sold it to me. He still drives that thing around. Yeah, we tore down 150,000 miles on when I sold it. <laughs> we uh, we tore down the house, and he was the guy like coming picking up the scrap and stuff in that truck. Mm-hmm. Nice. I can't believe that thing runs still. That truck's been a good truck. It stuck like high idling for whatever reason. I couldn't figure it out. I changed the spark plugs one day and just mm-hmm. now it idles at 1500 RPM. <laughs> And you put some weird exhaust on it that sounds obnoxious. I was so excited whenever I put that on there. <laughs> MagnaFlow 40. <laughs> I even made a post on Instagram. I'll probably go delete it now. But it was like, she's getting new exhaust tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Two-wheel drive, freaking 2004 half done Dodge. Well, I, Pathetic. You know, that that what six car was that truck? White. It was this old state truck. Yeah, that's right. I love that thing. It got stuck one day somewhere and we had to jump in the bed of it. Oh, yeah. It got stuck oh, everywhere. <laughs> I remember it's a long bed, two wheel drive. When I was driving that truck, yeah. mm-hmm. I turned left, like where right by the Republic High School, and you're going on to ZZ mm-hmm. to go south. It was raining one day, and I accidentally <laughs> did a donut in the intersection there just because yeah. it just has no traction on the back. Ryan of wrecked it. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. Ryan was driving down the interstate, just driving, and <laughs> it just downshifted and went <laughs> and threw him in the ditch. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's probably going, oh boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With a steering wheel all the way down here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's why I grabbed mm. it. <laughs> God. I remember that. Shit like that's awful. And it makes you just wonder kind of like sometimes like what the fuck. You know what I mean? Because that bad shit happens to some people. But it doesn't they die. seem to happen that often. Sometimes they die Sometimes though. they die. Yeah. But it makes you just like what the fuck. Well, if you kept good tires on it, it'd probably <laughs> <laughs> fill it on that, slicks on the yeah, back. I would just randomly downshift it like that and put them in that spot. Yeah. Because I've driven on bald tires for like fucking years. And up until you're put in that bad situation where you might have to hit on them a little stiff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't know. Then just your skin. Yeah. yeah. I, when I bought that 6.2, within the first week, I wrecked it because the brakes went out. Like, it just, the cylinder was bad. Mm-hmm. And I go to, somebody stopped at the bottom of the hill and I tried to stop <laughs> and I... My back wheels locked up, but the fronts didn't stop at all, and I just slammed in the back of the guy. Uh, fucked it up. Had to put that bumper on it. Matt, it was like that. your... That, I liked that truck. Yeah. Super brand. <laughs> it was actually clean whenever you first got it. And it was clean when I sold it, too. It was not. It would have been clean if you... It had, like, no grill, and it was yeah, ratchet-strapped on. It had a grill. I don't know that why was just anybody for... ever buy it with that fucking goat bed on there. 
<laughs> that thing was ugly as yeah. fuck. You could haul You're some shit on, on there if you wanted to. <laughs> He's sitting there really talking some shit. He bought it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of <laughs> idiot would ever buy that truck. <laughs> <laughs> thing. And at 3700 bucks. Got 15 miles. Oh, yeah. That's why I said that, too. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Back then, that was a paid. lot of money for that yeah. truck. It I sold way, it for $3,000. <laughs> a yeah. dollar pound. Paid, yeah. <laughs> oh, that thing weighed two and a half times what I paid. They go goop on it. You know, the paddock fucking mm-hmm. bumpers on it and stuff. I've never really seen anybody daily. It's a heavy ass for you. Yeah. It was so low geared, it would pop wheelies. <laughs> yeah, if you put it in low and you just start going, wop, wop. Well, and it would rock so the batteries would get thrown around inside <laughs> of it. <laughs> around, yeah. yeah, and. Would you go if forty five miles an hour? That thing was, was like screaming in it. Well, whenever I was going to welding school, we went to Springfield one day in that thing, and that was <laughs> fun. When, whenever I was in welding school, one of the guys in there, Austin Burns, convinced me to take a sawzall to the exhaust on it, and I was like, as soon as we fired up in that shot afterwards, I was like, yeah. oh god, <laughs> yeah, right as you hear it, you're like, Fuck me. <laughs> you know that kid's like, hey, that idiot. He had a cool that that guy's he had like, you were in welding class, why didn't you just weld it back? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I thought it was kind of cool. You want to hold. That was like the yeah. week after. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had a cool ass truck. He had like a 75 Ford, like a red with a 390 in it, like lifted fucking badass truck. I love that truck. <laughs> yeah. There at one point, we all we all had pretty sick trucks. I still have my white square Dakota body. Dakota had a real cool one. Which one? I forgot about it. I, the, I didn't well, forget I about him. I just haven't talked. or whatever that was that red rear-ended that. Semi. That maroon 73 oh, yeah. IDI. Yeah. That thing was bad ass. I forgot about that wrecked in the semi. Remember we went all and visited him in the in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And now we don't see him at all. <laughs> his brother rents his house. The young, his younger brother? Caden. Yeah. yeah. That kid was funny as shit. We used to we used to scare the <laughs> shit out of that kid whenever he'd come work with us. Were you ever out there whenever his brother would come and work with Cordell? We'd, we would work on a farm out of the pasture and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had yeah. that kid intimidated. We'd work his ass off. Caden's, um, I I I like Caden. Yeah, Caden's Caden's a good dude. I think <laughs> you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just put that in there for safety. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what you got plans for the future? What are your dreams? What are you gonna do mm. with your life? Dreams you got any women out there, men? I don't know if I have any. Fuck no, I ain't gay. <laughs> uh, But, uh, you should say, I don't know if I have any aspirations. Yeah. I'm going to kill cows and pigs for the rest of my life. Drink cores well, heavy. Good money. And I mean, I like, doing, I like doing it because I know that I'm doing it for, you know, fucking people around me. Which I think, you know, doing anything community based is most important. Because that's really all that matters. Shit that happens, you know, doesn't really affect us. But. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, that was shit that happens <laughs> really doesn't affect us. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> I had the thought in my head that it was Like, as far as big picture stuff, whenever, you know, there's like bills and a lot of shit that gets like voted on, it really doesn't affect us like firsthand um, right out the gate. But everything in our community does. Mm. You know, so like, as far as like, you know, local PD and fire departments and you know, like our little local, um, well, like our townships, basically. That's the most important part is just taking care of our neighbors. So that's why I, I don't really care to do anything different for right now because I'm taking care of us. <laughs> are, you, got to? are you hinting at that you might run for public office? <laughs> that's yeah, what it sounds like. You ought to be the yeah, mayor of Crane. Experience. That'd be uh, mayor of Crane. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> That's they literally got a government grant to level the thing. <laughs> yeah, Jackhead's houses are first. Yeah, Crane literally proved to me you pay your electric bill and I won't do your house, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Decker was always telling me stories like, "Yeah, I just have to go shut off people's yeah. power all day long." <laughs> People don't fucking. Yeah, it's hilarious. I used to love seeing Decker walk through the neighborhoods because that's exactly what he was doing. You know? Yeah, I love seeing him. I'll be They're like, out yeah, there. He's going to fuck <laughs> Yeah, everybody hated. They him. aren't going to be able to take a shower tonight. <laughs> I love seeing Andrew walk around doing that shit. <laughs> does, does he still do that, or is he work for Springfield? Like, it works for. Uh, it's like the Springfield Power Plant or something. I think he's got oh, a pretty yeah. good job now. Yeah, yeah he keeps got, talking yeah. about. He's like talking about going up in the smokestacks there at the yeah. James River Power Plant there. Oh yeah, definitely gravy train, especially compared to working at Crane for sure. Yeah, which I mean, 
And he's got a girlfriend, like a long-term yeah. girlfriend. Good, Good for him. Yeah. I wish... Uh... Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, that got me thinking about uh, Florida, whatever you <laughs> Do what? Is this a <laughs> story you can tell on, online? <laughs> no, yeah, I think so. Um well, because I don't even remember all the story. It was just a lot of fun. That's how you know it was um, a good one. Whenever we were all like in the hotel room and me and Andrew had been drinking all that Jack Daniels and we'd come back from the club. And we, I don't remember who got locked out of the hotel room. We locked him out. <laughs> me and he locked him out, didn't we? What was he trying to use to open the door? It was like his driver's license or something. Yeah, he started to slip. his debit card and his driver's license trying to get the door to open. We had it like locked up because he was talking to some girls and a bunch of people out on the, out on the porch. Yeah, he invited yeah. like freaking 20 people in our hotel <laughs> well, room hotel's badass every time i go down there i stay in that place um it wasn't very far from Clay where, was it in Panama Lugia. city yeah, yeah but it wasn't right on the like, ocean it was like see like i mean whenever you drive down you know through there's like club la Vela would have been here and the main strip and then we were just right off there's like a ripley's believe it or not and all the clubs kind of yeah. like, <laughs> down and shit we we're like right next to all of it so we could walk. There was what go karts and a bunch of mm-hmm. shit across the road from. Was us. that where like we watched a guy on a fucking motorcycle get run over? Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> yeah, this guy got plowed car. over by a car. Yeah, bad. Like, like dead? No, no. We got his bike out of the way. Not he was kind of he was kind of fucked up. They hauled him off. But, I mean, the car hit him. Fucking cruising because we were just up on the hotel. They car. run too, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They didn't come back. It was fucked up because like we watched him sitting there. He was leaving. You know, fucking his buddy's house because well, the hotel's not in a hotel location. There's like a weird trailer park next to us. There's a fucking putt putt and go kart track right here. Mm-hmm. And we're like, you could throw a rock three times and hit the ocean. <laughs> and so he was at some kind of weird biker bar in the alley behind us and come to pull out. And then somebody just swiped his and ass just left. Like 50. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. You How forget about stuff you? like that. Oh, he's lucky as shit. He kind of just came out off his bike and on so his, on his ass and rolled. And we got traffic stopped and got him out of the road and got his car or his bike up. But yeah, I remember his girlfriend he like just drove off right, right into yeah. town. <laughs> so yeah. was it where you? What I remember there was like if you're going along where our hotel was and you're going east, I guess, and then the it's there's like a Y and it splits off and that's where like most it's of the on shit the is there. it's that's on where the like Y. Hooters is was right there. We ate at the Hooters there. I remember it's where that Y is, but it's going away from the beach. Like it yeah, wise, and it's like on the you straight been able side to see of it. it. Gotcha, that yeah. wise right there at, at the Ripley's. <laughs> yeah, that's what that crooked yeah. building is. Yeah, so we would have been just two blocks on that left. I'm side. just like barely remembering because I've only been once, and it was like three been years been ago. A lot. Yeah, I have been to probably kind of three or four times sounds at least. Place. Sounds fun right now. Let's go. You paying? It wouldn't be much fun right now, but we could go. We went December 26th, and I had a blast. So <laughs> it's just Dude. so much easier just to fly. To like Tampa or something where it's warm, where it's actually oh, warm. Let's drive. Hawaii. Well, we can't drive there. Well, it depends on how fast you're going. <laughs> <laughs> About 3,000 miles. You got a fuel tank. Fucking hauling ass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got those uh, those dirt bikes where people put the, the like skis on the front and they have a big paddle tire and then they. Zoom. You're going to have to have a big gas tank. Yeah. And you're going to be fucking wound up. Oh, and you get out in the middle in the waves, you're fucking right. That'd be fun as shit. <laughs> Leave in the comments if you think it's if you think it's possible to drive to Hawaii <laughs> in some Somebody in some sort of, of vehicle. Tell us how much fuel you need, and like, would we have to have like a trailer you're pulling behind you, or could you just attach it to it? Like, what's the fuel mileage on, like, a, I don't know enough about dirt bikes? Sure, there's got to be a YouTube video of somebody jet skiing to Hawaii Dude, from California or something. There's got to be. Would you get in trouble? You'd die. You know, <laughs> Probably. If you, know, if you had like a, like a fucking Hedo Cruise in Pontoon or something. And Following oh, you thousands can, of fucking gallons of fuel. You can know, do it. You can go if you just want. just hauled ass and just took off. You can go. I mean, I'd imagine. You think a jet ski would last that long? Fuck with you. Jet skis are notorious for burning up, so. I bet you'd just. Dude, that's a trip. You'd better have a sit down. You know, like. <laughs> you ain't riding no fucking stand up. <laughs> three hours. Yeah. You'd be shark bait. <laughs> no. You'll be a limb noodle out there in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, that would not. The worst part about going on trips like that is you got to come back. <laughs> like, yeah, especially if you peter out like halfway. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess you could just throw away the jet ski or sell it Don't once you get there and then fly home. But what what kind of calculating are you doing? So I'm wondering. 
on a submarine, they say it takes not not full throttle. Better watch what you say. It's not, it's not full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> not not like hauling ass, but like on average, like a week to get there. I've tried to get the number out of him well, so many, many times of, of how fast a submarine will go. Oh, you know God, what is it? Forty-four in excess of twelve. Knots. FBI, listen close. <laughs> 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 I said 44. If you guess it right, you just like. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a gas that comes out of this. It goes. <laughs> just you're dead. Slowly seeps in. Yeah. I don't know. We could go. We'll, we'll just plan a Florida trip. The last one was pretty fun. I, I know you guys were joking, but I, I literally will get in the car right now and go. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I can't well, afford it. <laughs> we went. Like these guys had called me and told me that we weren't going to go, and then I was like, okay. And so I was sitting at home. So I was sad. Like, it was like, yeah, I was right. pissed. I was actually kind of mad because I was like, hell yeah, because we don't already planned it just kind of on the seat of our pants. And then a couple hours pass, and then Cody calls me at like 11.15 at night. And he's like, you, you want to go to Florida? I was like, yeah. It pisses so me off. I go to your dad's house there outside of Republic, and we load up right there, and we leave. Mm-hmm. It pisses me off that he always wants to drive <laughs> places in the middle of the night. I hate that. It's the best way to do it. Yeah, because then all night and then you can enjoy all day. Yeah, but then you're tired and you want to sleep when you I think, there. dude, I think driving at night makes it go by so much faster. I can't drive. Well, Cody it. says that, but Cody slept like. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. You sleep in the back of the house and drive. Out of that week, Cody slept. 80% of the hours. <laughs> like when we came from Washington back here so and we did like 16 hours in one stretch, I could do that because it was daytime. If at nighttime, I wouldn't be able to do five hours. I'd pass out for sure. Daytime, I can drive. Well, all it's day. definitely harder to drive at night, but it's like know. impossible. I feel like if I, if I drive through night, then I start getting tired by daybreak. And then once it's day, I can stay awake. Yeah, so I can just keep fine. driving. Exactly right. yeah. yeah, but then, and then when you get there, yeah, we can you're drive fucking cross, cross country as long as we stay. You know, if we start the night, that's how I like to do it. Mm-hmm. Drive to sun up. Yep. I like I to do drive too. during the day. That's so, bummy. And then sleep at it's night. Two against like one. Fucking normal person. So. Yeah, two against one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can't. You, you're no longer. <laughs> I guess we're going to Florida. Florida. <laughs> you're no longer allowed to drive. It's not your opinion anymore. Yeah. yeah. Or we could go get, on, go get on a jet and we'd be there in like an hour and a half. Yeah. That's just well, so let's much go to Hawaii nicer. instead. It'll be warmer. That's, that is a trip. That's a trip. Okay. If we the freaking Panama City is like fucking fourteen hours away. We Twelve, can drive I think, right? down there. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. What's the weather there right we now? Can drive down How about we meet in the middle at thirteen? How about we meet in the middle in like Alabama or something? It'll probably be thirteen <laughs> I bet you gotta stop and pee like a little girl. Yeah, how dare my bladder work? How dare it? <laughs> I'll be drinking all that you coffee only, to stay awake. You should only have to go to the bathroom like, you know, when you feel up. Yeah, I I hate most time, if I go on a road trip with somebody, I, I can't I don't stand because they want to stop. They want to get food here. They want to do the and it adds to the trip so why much. Is that, there so I can buy my grandma a mug. Yeah. yeah, but why does it piss you? Like, just don't. It's, it doesn't have to be work. Just enjoy your time. I like driving. It doesn't bother me. Just enjoy the trip. Don't make well, it like I gotta. I gotta push on through for fifteen hours. Like, just well, I enjoy good being at the place. I too, also, you can get it it's also about like the journey you're traveling because that's the good part about driving overnight. Because if you can get like checked into a hotel pretty reasonably early, you know, like have mm-hmm. booking and shit set up, you know, hell, if they let you check in at like fucking three o'clock, um, if you drive all night and you roll in, you know, you can fucking sleep while I drive and we can alternate. Yeah, if Everybody's there's kind of rested, then once we get there, if we can check into the hotel early. Most of the time, if we you want can... to, we can all just pass the fuck out right then. Yeah, and take a power nap. That's what we did in uh, Gatlinburg. Yeah, if there's two people, there's no reason. Like drive through the night. night, you're gonna hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we well, when we went to uh, the first time we went to Denver. Remember when we uh, we stopped in there and we checked in the hotel at like two in the morning and then got up at like six in the morning to drive, keep on driving. It was a waste of a hotel. <laughs> I still remember that steak from Texas Roadhouse. That was so good. That, yeah. yeah, that was yeah. the best steak I've ever had. I'm, and I get the same steak every time, and it never tastes as good. It was that one. It was a Fort Worth rib. The whole trip, Colorado Springs. I know I talk about it all the time, but I'm like, man, that trip was awesome. Which one? One where we just left and went and saw the West. Oh, when we went to Zion and Vegas and the Grand Canyon. For whatever that. reason, I was like, ah, there's no reason to go west to here. And then we did. Now I'm obsessed with the west. I, I love going to Wyoming the west. Wyoming is my favorite state. It's the most beautiful. Uh, sure. Grand Teton National Park we went to, and I would live there if I would love to. It's it's the most beautiful place in the world. There's nothing better than it. 
And Wyoming has so much different, like just driving across there, it's it's amazing. Oh yeah, if you well yeah, if you're definitely like commuting and going, you know, state to state. Yeah, you definitely get to see some cool shit driving mm-hmm. across. Yeah, like we drove, we went from well, there's Washington a hundred, there's to a here. Different ways, you know, to go. Yeah, you know, as far as if you're like, if you were to try to drive to like Vegas, you know, you could take a northern route and you could go up north and see some badass yeah. shit. It'd take a little longer. Or you, yeah. <laughs> from, you can drive through Texas and, you know, out through Flagstaff. That's a boring drive. All like yeah, that, all that part sucks. That's, well, that's a boring drive. I mean, drive. if you get to Flagstaff and it's covered in snow and stuff, chances are you're going to see some, like, elk and some cool shit. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty cool place to stop. We saw moose in Wyoming in Grand Teton when we were there. Did you? Yeah. Oh, on this long-ass hike we did up in the mountains, uh, bears and moose and elk, all kinds of stuff. I think my favorite way to go that definitely makes the trip. You know, uh, it was it. a yeah. twenty mile yeah. hike and it was rough, but that stuff was cool to see. Yeah. <laughs> if you go from here to Denver and then what is that? That interstate that runs through the mountains, ninety or seventy. That is awesome. Seventy doing that drive through 90s the up north. Yeah, that's an awesome drive. You talking about like going to like from Wichita? Mm. Seventy was the one that was closed <laughs> west of Denver. That we why we lost, uh, missed our flight on our last yeah. time we went s- yeah. uh, snowboarding. Uh, from like Keystone to Denver, it was like an hour. We were like an hour west of Denver, and they closed because of like a fucking blizzard. It was and we had to go like, like a crazy. three and a half hour tr- uh, way back to Denver. Um, fuck. I'm, I'm just like, picturing you got these mountains on the side. Did you guys go towards like Estes Park and stuff? Yeah, did you guys, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, out that's, that direction. Yeah, seventy is the one that runs. Basically, yes, yeah, it's in did Kansas guys, too, and it goes yeah, all the way it's, west it's across. Forty nine or twenty nine. Maybe it's 49 that goes through Estes Park all the way up to like Loveland and Port Collins. You guys drive through that. We didn't go that far north. That's the stuff that's like, you know, fucking huge. Yeah. Like 70 is the one. You're driving through it and there's goats standing out in the middle of it. Yeah. There's like a river that runs along most of it. That's, yeah. The, yeah. The river runs next to it and there's like train track that goes on the bottom. And then you go through this tunnel. North. We're talking about the one that went across the Rockies and that one is 70. I mean, there's lots of them, but that's gotcha. just the Just that whole. Mm. Basically from Denver oh, west. The out there, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, like Colorado. Do you get to like New Mexico and Arizona? I still like New Mexico. I still, I still the love. I, I yeah, Utah, Arizona. Oh, man, desert. Let's I still love buy it. a bunch of fucking land out there because last time I was out there, there was like an acre for fucking two hundred. But he always bitches yeah. about Texas every time we go through there. I don't like Texas. During the water, man, we could pop a trailer up out there with a raised, you know, like a cow, like a cow water, and fucking everybody with a dirt bike and a side by side and go out yeah. there for like a week and a half every year. And just I would love to buy meals. a razor and something, but they're just such a waste of money. But I also want a plane. It's kind of a waste of money, too. <laughs> no, a plane's not a waste of money. Well, maybe. It depends on where all you can fly it. I mean, like, are you just going to go up in the air? Or are you going to try to... No, I'm talking, a, like, a six-passenger plane. I could... Yeah, I, I, I want... Yeah. 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 Something it's I can take... I can haul a couple buddies and some duffel bags, and we could be in Utah in, like, a couple hours, and then... What the fuck do you want to go to Utah for? I love Utah. Love Dude, Utah. The like, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Montana... Like, basically, from Colorado up to Washington, that whole, like, tract, that's mm-hmm. the, that, my favorite part of the country. Yeah. I'd live in Wyoming. You can go to Oregon and hunt bears. Go what? So we can go to Oregon and hunt bears. We drove through Oregon and didn't stop and look at anything. Going up yeah, from we California up to Washington. Got, you probably would have got mugged. They did oh, fill up our so. gas for us. Yeah, that part was yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I go to get out of my car, and the guy was like, just comes up and I ask for my debit card. All they do is he takes my debit card, sw- swipes it, hands my card back to me, and pumps it. It's so stupid. Yeah, they're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> legal rule. You are not allowed to pump uh, yeah. it. Stupid. <laughs> Nobody else in the world does that. And Oregon's like, oh, it's a safety thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon, yeah, dude. They're weird. They're just weird people. We did drive through Portland, though, and it looked like a pretty cool town to go to, actually. That's where the company, the FM Payments, that's where their headquarters is. Uh, well, it's Vancouver, Washington, which is like... Basically, Portland's just right on the Washington side of the border because Portland is right up against the state line. Mm. You don't really realize how fast 30 minutes goes by until you get to click off the camera again. Is that your way of telling me to go click off the camera again? It's been 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's weird. Yep. I think we're kind of wrap here. We're kind of wrapping it up anyways, don't yeah. you think? So. Your microphone's still on, so. My ass hurts. <laughs> yeah. He's got to piss. But. Wyatt, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having good, me. Good seeing you. I've seen you in a long time. So. Yeah, it has been a minute. We're gonna we'll take a picture here. Yeah. So uh, for the old Instagram podcast, Instagram. Yeah, that works. I need to yep. follow it. Just, <laughs> yeah, you do. We get paid from just, there. <laughs> he just sent me the link to the um, YouTube. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.
Yeah, thanks for tuning in.